hey, guess what? Weekend's almost here. Celebrate Oktoberfest this weekend or take in an exhibit featuring the father of innovation. Don Sanchez has our What's Hot report. Leonardo is a showcase of Da Vinci's innovative art and engineering. Only U.S. showing at the Tech Museum in San Jose. While you're enjoying that, I, I want to let you know there's an exhibit out there that you can't miss. It's only making one U.S. stop. That's it. And it's right here in the Bay Area. It's called Leonardo. 500 years into the future, and our Nick Smith is live at the Tech Museum of Innovation in San Jose to tell us about the world premiere. Hi, Nick. Hello, Janelle, Lisa, and our beautiful studio audience. I've been standing here talking to Peter Fries, who is the president of the Tech Museum here in San Jose. This guy's really interesting. We've been talking about a little bit of everything, but right now we're talking about Leonardo, 500 years into the future, Peter. And Janelle just mentioned how this is the first stop. It's the only stop. Tell me about the significance of that. I think the significance is very high. This exhibition has been put together in Italy, and I've been working with these people while I lived in Europe for a long time, so it's a very close relationship. And I thought, this exhibition has to come to Silicon Valley, not just to the US. Why did you decide that? Silicon Valley has a spirit, changed the world more than anybody else with new technology. If you talk to people wherever in the world, they all know Silicon Valley, and they know something like there is a spirit of doing this. And something like this happened 500 years ago in Florence. Florence was the area where Leonardo lived, but many other mechanics, many other scientists, many other painters and artists. Let's take a look at a little, at a little bit of video that we shot earlier so the people at home can get an idea of Leonardo and the work that he did. Is he an artist? Is he an engineer? Describe the man. I think he's a phenomena. I think he's not just a single individual. He represents a, a group of people who all thought in the same direction. How can we use knowledge to build better society? How can we read books and with the knowledge build a better world? Peter, I understand why you are excited about the exhibit. Help me get people at home who may not even think about coming to the Tech Museum, help me get them excited and tell them why they need to be here. First of all, not to think about it is wrong. Okay. You know? <laughs> no, the excitement is we have about 200 hands-on exhibits. Okay. And you can turn the crank and then you see all kinds of movements. You can learn for, for young mechanics. You can learn how a, a rotating movement changes into a linear movement. And it's not just that you read it. You really can exercise it and you get it and you get it in your bones. And I think if you look, go to this exhibition, mm -hmm. you will sign up at a university to become an engineer. Oh, that's a big statement and a bold one to make there. Peter, tell me about some of the things that we can actually see uh, in use today that Leonardo may have inspired. You know, Leonardo has things inspired like the parachute. And you can see a model of his parachute here. And if you go to our IMAX cinema, you can see it actually fly. Because scientists have nowadays have tested it and they've really used it and it works. So the movie shows this. But he has invented things like the airplane. He has invented so many things, maybe like the helicopter. He thought about the concept of the helicopter. It took us 500 years. Here in the museum, we, sh we, we concentrate on the history, but we also look into the future. We have a spaceship Orion here. He definitely didn't design that one. Right, absolutely. But this is the next spaceship Americans go to the moon. Mm -hmm. And so we want to bring the history and the futures together in our museum. Peter, before we run out of time, what can we do to tell people at home how young the kids should be when they come on out or how old? What would you say? What would be the ideal person to take in the exhibit? You know, if I would be... I would say everybody between six years and 99 is the right person for this exhibition. And if you're interested in science, you will get everything. If you're interested in art, we have art classes for kids. And we do have two paintings here from the Uffici. This is a world premiere. So this is probably one of the best paintings in the world. Leonardo really saw those paintings, and two of his pupils have painted them. So we have the paintings here. You only go on tech.org, tech buy your ticket online, and just come. Dr. Fries, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. This just became my second favorite German there. We love that there. The accent, we were having a good time. Thank you. Janelle, I'm going to send it back to you and Lisa, and I'm encouraging everyone in our studio audience to come on down. Right, Dr. Fries? Exactly. All right. Bye-bye, exactly. you guys. Bye. And you will Thanks, see me here. Nick. Sounds thank like a great so event.
This week on The View from the Bay, get an insider's look at the work of Leonardo da Vinci. This world premiere is an educational experience the whole family can enjoy. The View from the Bay, weekdays at 3 on ABC7. Next week on The View from the Bay, get an insider's look at the work of Leonardo da Vinci. This world premiere is an educational experience the whole family can enjoy. The View from the Bay, weekdays at 3 on ABC7.